Hey, we've got a big challenge today for all of us. Staying awake. <laughs> <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. That too. My challenge is to see if I can till this plowed garden. I don't think that's going to be easy at all. No. You guys have your own challenge, and that is to get this thing flying. But we've never done that before. We'll kind of show you our adventures as we go. Would it be okay if we just ran into you with it? Well, I'm not worried about me, but I'm a little worried about that thing. Yeah. That cost us a lot of money. A lot of money, yeah. Okay. Folks, please take a moment to press that subscribe button. That means a lot. Thanks very much. This picture is really nice. I'm very impressed. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I apologize for all of this terrible video y'all are about to see. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere now. This thing's great. Meanwhile, your dad's having trouble. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. I'm glad I'm not on the tractor right now. We plowed this a few days earlier with the 5075E and Oliver 316 Model 565 plow. With the exception of a few places, it turned it over really well. Heavy sod like this is not easy for a plow to handle. We published a video recently of the plowing, and in that episode I explained that we plowed more for sentimental reasons than for practical reasons. I don't see the drone anymore. I'm trying to track you and you're not moving. I'm not moving. You're not moving. Did you just put it in track mode yeah. or something? Okay, I'll keep going then. I thought I might see how it was going. Well, it's pretty fun, so I hope you never want me to ever use a tractor again and just use the drone. <laughs> this is Catrill's first time flying the drone. I'll get a chance a little bit later in the video, but neither one of us know what we're doing. So on the farm, when I was growing up, we would plow every acre each spring. Typically the sod wasn't nearly as heavy as this, so the plow would leave it a lot smoother. I say smoother, but it was not smooth by any means. The next step was to go over this plowed ground with a disc, and honestly no one was excited about disking what we called first time over. For corn, after that first time over trip, we would apply the anhydrous ammonia, injecting it eight to 12 inches deep. We have an episode showing anhydrous ammonia application, only now we do it in the growing corn rather than pre-plant. We didn't have any tool like a tiller. While the tiller is an amazing tool for a garden or a small plot like this, it isn't practical for a large operation. You can cover a much larger area with the same horsepower and much cheaper with a disc. I was hoping to have a disc for the 5075E by the time of this episode, but it didn't work out. So just like always, if all else fails, Johnny and the tiller to the rescue. Check out this upcoming segment. Notice how much the differential lock pedal helps. Oh my goodness. You can get this nice pedal for that silly rod that sticks out at boltonhooks.com. It makes accessing the differential lock much easier. 
Okay, for this segment of the job, you may see the drone flying around, but you don't notice any footage from the drone. Well, we were learning. Somehow we didn't get it captured. And then later, one of the drone video files actually got corrupted, and I had to pay somebody to get it repaired. Now I'm tilling on that hump where I laid off the land with the plow, throwing the dirt toward itself. That's how that hump got generated. This wouldn't occur very often in a large field. And if you were plowing every year, you would do this over the top of last year's furrow. A bit hard to explain. Maybe I can show you next year. Anyway, this is quite the challenge for Johnny's little tires. I thought about trying to use the 2038R Johnny 2, but the tiller would be too narrow to cover the tracks. And also the PTO shaft is probably too short. This heavy loam soil in this area shouldn't be worked very deep in the spring. Deep tillage like plowing should take place in the fall. Then in the spring, the farmer would use a field cultivator to maybe go a couple inches deep, avoiding the mucky wet soil that lies deeper. Calling it mucky wet soil may sound negative, but really that's the magic here. This soil holds moisture. That moisture is much needed during the later growing season. Meanwhile, Tim's having a great time on the bucking bronco. Is it recording? Yep. Now I get a chance to play with the drone. It's not easy. How does it feel, Mom? This is fun, actually. Whenever I get the hang of it. I don't know if you can tell from these angles, but as I continue to till this, I just keep bringing up more of that wet soil. So I'm trying to decide which is worse, the unlevel aspect or the fact that I keep bringing up more mud. So does it feel like Big Brother is watching? It feels like a, a, a swarm of bees. I know, it kind of sounds like a giant mosquito. <laughs> I was wondering if it got too close if you'd swat it, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, the way that the the, the floppy things, the... Uh, propellers? Yeah, propellers, the way that they floppy look in the camera is so much different. 
floppy thing? Look, I only did one semester of engineering. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more round and then I'm gonna stop for this morning. Sounds good. He wants to drive right at the camera. You haven't even taken the, the plastic off your chair yet? <laughs> I Have I sat in this tractor? This, right. wait, no, this is just Johnny. Looks like Johnny. What's different about this Johnny? It's a 2018 instead of a 2014. Hey, this is my first time getting to fly it. You guys are taking all the fun this time. A absolutely. Actually, this was a trick. I got to have all the tractor fun. That didn't look that fun to me. Well, it was cool. kind of rough, kind of <laughs> rough. We're gonna come back this evening, till it again, maybe different angles or something, hopefully to get it leveled out a little bit. And then we're gonna plant some sweet corn. All right, I like sweet corn. Sounds good. Are we gonna get to eat it or are the um, various wildlife that live in this yeah, new I'm afraid yard of that. gonna eat it? We'll have to save that for future episodes. That's the drama. That's, That's the cliffhanger. That's all we've got. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't live in a high drama world here, Catrill. <laughs> Will we get to eat the corn we planted? <laughs> Woof. Okay, stay tuned on the edge of your seat for next, not our next episode, but what is it, 75 or 90 days from now, we'll be showing you our sweet corn, hopefully. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for joining us, Katrill. Oh, yeah, I just had, you know, no choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm enjoying uh, being here for a few days before I'm uh, off to the next adventure. I don't know how sincere that sounded, but we'll go with it. Yeah. Man, even when I try to be nice. <laughs> exactly. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with, with Tim. Tim. And Christy. And Catrill. <laughs>